A question that I get almost daily is, Ty, what exactly is a cinema camera? And today, before you leave this video, you're going to have a clear understanding of what a camera needs to have in order to qualify as a cinema camera. In fact, look, watch this. If you don't believe me, here you go. The fanboys trust me now for some reason. Stay tuned. What's going on? My name is Ty, and if this is your first time on this channel, this channel is simply about turning your passion into profit. It's about understanding the business side of content creation. If you want to learn how to remove stretch marks from your girlfriend's back, this is not the place. However, if you want to learn how to get that bag, that's what we talk about here. Today, we're going to talk about gear, and there's a big lingering question of what it takes for a camera to be considered a cinema camera. If you go and look up the definition for DSLR, there's a definition. If you go and look up the definition for a mirrorless camera, there is a definition. However, if you go look up a definition for a cinema camera, there is not a definition. Why is that? That's because cinema cameras is a term used by camera manufacturers to add value to a camera. Now, in my opinion, there's usually three things that determines if a camera is a cinema camera. And I'm gonna give them to you in order. The first one is very important. Whenever camera manufacturers call a camera a cinema camera, it's usually a term that they use when they're creating a camera that provides image quality over everything else. It's usually not really good at anything else other than providing image quality under perfect conditions. That's why cinema cameras aren't usually any good in low light. They usually don't have autofocus. They usually don't have the bells and whistles as let's say a hybrid camera or a camcorder or a video camera. Their job is to provide the best image possible. Item number two that you will see on mostly all cinema cameras are the fact that they are modular. Because the main focus is image quality, they allow you to rig up the camera to add what they did not provide inside the camera itself. And it also allows you to rig the camera up to work in any situation you choose. The third and very important part about being a cinema camera, listen to me, listen to me now, take notes with this one, this is very important. You have to have the ability to shoot a movie with it. But I can shoot a movie with my iPhone, Ty. Well, damn your iPhone could probably be a cinema camera if Apple puts a freaking sticker on the box and call it one. They have shot shows that went to Netflix on a iPhone. However, the iPhone focuses on a lot of things. So if you want to call an iPhone a cinema camera, go right ahead. There is no true term as to what makes a camera a certified cinema camera. It's a term that camera manufacturers often add to a camera to sell value, to sell value behind really good image quality. Now, here's the part that you gotta think about. If you buy a camera that's called a cinema camera and it's not providing you the best image quality possible, is it really still a cinema camera? Or is it a high-end camcorder with a red C on it? camera manufacturers to help sell high-end camcorders, they add them to their cinema line, give you log, and call it a day. And a lot of people who are Canon fanboys fall for this. I know it hurt. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. Blackmagic does a great job at providing real cinema cameras. Cameras that allow you to every bit of information that comes off that sensor. To allow you to get access to the best image quality that sensor can provide. Because with all great cinema cameras, the most important thing is the image quality. Companies like that allow you to have access to the information that comes off of the sensor because they understand that true cinema cameras 
is about image quality before everything. A camera that only allows you to get access to compressed codecs, such as the C70, I don't really consider a cinema camera. However, some of you guys live and die with Canon. You guys don't follow the golden rule of marrying the lenses and dating the bodies. And you're probably going to fight me because that red C says cinema. So it must be a cinema camera. Right. Cinema cameras are very simple. Outside of those three rules, there is no true term for cinema cameras. You can get a video camera, give it the ability to shoot log, make sure that the colors aren't punchy and call it a cinema camera. Today, all cameras are capable of creating very high quality images. You can't say that a mirrorless camera is not a cinema camera. Think about it. The A7S III is Sony's version of a mirrorless camera that puts video quality first before everything else. It just so happened to do a lot of other things well. So you can't say it's not a cinema camera. It's just a mirrorless version of a cinema camera. Just like you can say an iPhone is a mobile cell phone version of a cinema camera. There is no true definition of a cinema camera. So stop allowing people to tell you what is and what ain't a cinema camera. It takes three simple rules to be a cinema camera. Hey, pause for a second. I know you're in the middle of something dope, but I wanna make sure I tell you about a course over at Flash Film Academy that changed the game for me. It literally took my business from attracting mostly low-end clients to consistently landing bigger clients with bigger budgets. It's called the five key steps for creating an effective portfolio that converts. If you're a photographer, videographer, editor, or graphic designer, this course teaches you how to take what your brand does well and present those things in a way to help the client understand how your brand can help solve their problem. This course isn't just about editing, but helping you understand that when clients are trying to make a decision on why or even if they should work with you, blasting them with your best video clips set to music just won't cut it anymore. It doesn't set you apart, show value, or help buyers in the process of making a decision. This course teaches you how to create a commercial for your brand, providing a first impression that will help you 10x your ability to land clients. Remember, if you can't effectively tell your story, clients won't hire you to effectively tell their story. Create a demo reel that sells the client before you even speak to them. Go ahead, click the link. Let's get started. Now, something you gotta know, cinema cameras are usually a lot harder to work with unlike traditional video cameras. They don't come with all the bells and whistles. They're designed to get the best image quality. They're not designed to be run and gun first. A true cinema camera doesn't worry about run and gun. It's created for cinema, movies. When you shoot a movie, you work on your time. You light it the way you wanna light it. You have all day to film it. Running gun and cinema don't necessarily go together. However, if I can call a camera a running gun camera and a cinema camera, I probably can sell it to you a little bit more than what I normally could if I just pick one of those. So don't let Canon fanboys tell you that because your camera don't have a red C on it, it's not a cinema camera and my camera does. That's absolutely ridiculous. All right, guys. I'm gonna let you get back to doing what you were doing. I'm gonna put on my cinema hat that shows that I obviously know what the hell I'm doing and I will see you guys in the next cinema video.